You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt. I apologize. I know I sound scratchy and weird. I have got myself a lovely case of strep throat. At first, I thought it might be COVID again, but no, strep throat, which I haven't had in a few years. But I was traveling this past weekend, and somebody obviously with germs breathed on me. That's all I know. All right, I'm going to dig into this, but again, apologize for being scratchy and sounding weird today. I've got your full roster of Days of Our Lives spoilers from Monday, September 4th, all the way through Friday, September 8th. We're going to dig in right now. Right off the bat, we are in Season 59, Episode 6 on Monday the 4th. It is Labor Day, but they are still going to give us a fresh new episode. And we have got Teresa Donovan knocking on Brady Black's door. I believe she's going to show up on Friday, but then their actual scenes and whatnot happens on Monday. If you want a detailed look at what happens on Monday, go to our day's playlist because when they were trying to set up the programming on Peacock for season 59, they screwed up for a few minutes and they put up the episode for Monday the 4th instead of Monday the 28th. So a few of us got to see it, and I have written you guys up a detailed detailed list of what happens on Monday. If you're super curious, coming off of Cliffhanger Friday this week, check that out. All right. Oh, it's titled Days of Our Lives Leak, and you can look for that on the thumbnail. So Teresa shows up. She tells Brady that she wants another chance with him. They're both single. It'll be great. And he's like, uh, we were toxic together. No thanks. But he's clearly tempted because, you know, Brady loves bad girls. And we also have Xander Cook stunned when E.J. Demera comes to his door with a gun in his hand. He's not planning to shoot Xander. He wants Xander to take the gun and go shoot Ava Vitale to punish her for killing his mom, Susan Banks. However, later in the episode, after a hypnosis session with Marlena, Ava tells Harris that she lied to Marlena, but she remembers the truth. Susan Banks is alive. We also have the mystery man played by Dick Van Dyke. And Marlena wants the Black Patch guys to figure out his identity. It's not too long before they do. His name is Joseph Bell. He is a Korean war vet who has a scar on the back of his head. He took brain damage, some kind of traumatic brain injury in the Korean War. And he's been an amnesiac for decades. And we find out he served in the same unit as John Black's unknown and mystery biological father so it's looking more and more to me like dick van dyke is going to be playing his friend drake hogeston's father they work out in the gym together and it was drake that got him the part so that would be kind of interesting we also have marlena and ava scenes oh yeah i talked about that and doug and julie meet Dick Van Dyke's amnesiac character at the hospital, and they have some really fun scenes. You can check out the whole the whole recap of that video on our playlist. Tuesday, September 5th is episode 7 of the new season, and we have Chloe and Nicole and some tension between them, and I'm sure it might be something about Chloe having Xander's ring on his finger. Nicole can't really say anything since she hopped in bed with him at some point, right? We also have EJ Demera trying to kill Ava. Now, on the Monday episode, when Xander refuses to kill her, EJ calls someone else and says he wants her dead. I don't know if he's calling Thomas Banks or another pet assassin. And it could be that EJ decides, I just need to go do this myself. Maybe he goes to Bayview to be hands-on with the murder. Meanwhile, Sarah Horton still has all the feelings for Xander, and she's really struggling to control them. She's, of course, upset that he's engaged to another woman. And now she's engaged to Rex because she told him yes in a moment of weakness when she was mad and jealous about Xander. So she's created a big old mess that's going to have to be cleaned up. Meanwhile, Speaking of messes they've created, we have Sloane Peterson, who is tormented by guilt and really wants to tell Eric Brady the truth. She has tried a couple of times, but she got interrupted by the miscarriage and then Melinda Trask. So I wonder if she will spit it out this time. Midweek on Days of Our Lives, Wednesday, September 6th, it's season 59, episode 8. And we have Rafe Hernandez finding out there is trouble 
at Bayview Sanitarium. And that'll be interesting because the following week, the week of the 11th, Ava and Harris are actually going to escape together. But I think it might be the attempt on her life, maybe. We'll see why he's out at Bayview. But don't forget... Ava Vitale is also Rafe Hernandez's crazy ex, so that could be interesting. Meanwhile, Johnny DeMera complicates EJ's plot to kill Ava. That'll be interesting. And Harris Michaels is once again trying to help Ava, but he might be a hindrance instead of a help. We also have Tripp and Wendy heading back to the Salem Inn to try again to get their special night of intimacy after they had to listen to Melinda and Lee Shen making the two-backed beast in their tiny apartment. They just want some peace and quiet so they can be intimate also. Thursday, September 7th on Days is episode 9 of season 59, and we have Philip Kiriakis filling time, spending time with his mom, Kate Roberts, and he's trying to reassure her. She's, of course, worried he's going to go to jail, but Belle is working on Brady to try and get him to not press charges. We'll see. And also on Thursday, the big deal is Victor Kiriakis' funeral kicks off. That same day, Xander is in an argument with Sonny Kiriakis, and Maggie is pressuring Sarah to tell Xander the truth that she is carrying his baby. We also have on Friday, September 8th, Sarah Horton going into labor. So she is all caught up in her feelings, and then she goes into labor. And early next week, we find out that she's going to be in some kind of medical distress after she gives birth to her kid. Meanwhile, on Friday, the big thing for me is somebody comes to town for the funeral and crashes it. I'm going to talk about that in one second, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives updates, and definitely drop your comments on what you hope to see next week and click us a like if you enjoyed these days. Spoilers. Vivian Alamein is back in Salem. Louise Sorrell returns in the role, and I'm guessing she is going to crash the funeral, and apparently she has got some outrageous claims to make and John Black figures out something about Dick Van Dyke's mystery character so I wonder if by Friday he figures out hey that's my dad my long lost dad for those of you who ask in the comments before no we do not know who John Black's parents are He was supposed to be the child of Colleen Brady way back, but then they figured out that was actually someone named Ryan, and he was real, and he died, so it wasn't him. And then there was maybe some other family link thing that they tried once, but then that also turned out not to be true. So, nope, John does not know who his biological parents are, and it looks like Dick Van Dyke's character, Joseph Bell, might be the guy. We will find out. Hey, guys, thanks for listening. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 